And now it's time for our favorite segment, Ass Hat of, of the Week. So, Nathan, who is our Ass Hat this week? Michael, I could not be more excited to introduce this week's Ass Hat. It's one that we haven't had. I'm sure that we've had him before, but we haven't had him in a while. Hmm. It's uh, Fox News host Jesse Waters. Ooh, Jesse Waters. Jesse Watt, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Watt, come on down. <laughs> so what did Jesse Waters do to get on our show again? Okay, so this this requires a, a buildup, all right? Okay. So, so he was having a conversation with people on The Five, which is a Fox News show, and they were talking about homelessness in Los Angeles. And okay. one of the hosts, uh, Dana Perino, I believe that's how you say her name, uh, was talking about it and she was saying, quote, homeless encampments in liberal Los Angeles have a brand new amenity, working washing machines. Yes, it's true. Vagrants are setting up oversized tents and boasting about how they can steal water and electricity from the city in order to power their own street laundry service. So she's first off, she's complaining about the fact that they can do laundry, that homeless people can do laundry. <laughs> Talk about bootstrapping. That's like, gee, that's very impressive like innovation. I bet there's and some so, entrepreneurial shit going on too. And so I saw her say that and like my blood started boiling and I was sure. thinking, oh, we got to make her our ass hat. But then I heard what Jesse Waters' response to that was. He said, quote, you have to let people hit rock bottom because then... They bounce back up. Democrats want to make rock bottom comfortable. Yeah, stay at rock bottom. You know, put a, a washer dryer, put a wine fridge in there, do whatever you need, spread out, spread yourself out. That's the problem. You're actually hurting people by letting them fester and squalor. Don't sit there and let them do this to you because you're not allowed to sleep on public property and you're not allowed to sleep on private property. So get the hell out of there. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesse Waters is a fucking monster. That's fucking terrible. So he is saying... That life is too comfortable for the too, homeless. Too easy for the... Yeah. You know, we need... There would be no homeless people if only we tortured homeless people. Yeah. Yeah. And also, so what he's saying, he's saying, like, get them out of there because you're not allowed to sleep on public property and you're not allowed to sleep on private property. So what does that mean then? What does that mean? When you say get them out of there, they're not allowed to sleep on public Where property they and they're not allowed to sleep on private property. Where are they supposed to go then? To their homes, Nathan, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you have to let people hit hit rock bottom because they bounce back up. Dude, shut the fuck up. I, that that is, is such bullshit. That, that is, is such, such complete bullshit. Bullshit argument. If you make if you make like people's lives too comfortable they will become lazy. Yeah. That's like that's that's like welfare queens. That's been around since the fucking 80s and no one fucking believes it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Like they were complaining about the fact that these homeless people had tents. Like, oh, it's so comfortable. They have these tents. They have a roof over their head. They have a washing machine. Like what more could you possibly want? Yeah. Every all of their needs are taken care of. Like no, they the fact aren't. That, the fact that the fact that, like, why, well, why would they need a washing machine? Two potential re reasons. One, they want to be fucking clean because yeah. dirty clothes, like, feel terrible. But two, this is Los Angeles. The cost of living is very high. Many of these people may be employed. And the way they stay employed is by being able to wash their uniforms and their clothes. We may be talking about people with literal jobs that can't offer them a roof. Yeah. And the yeah. way that they keep those jobs will be would be an outdoor watch. And the fact that they call it stealing power and water from the city, the city owes them power and water. Yeah. <laughs> like it is it is it is a defect that they don't have a place to live. It is not yeah. a feature. Yeah. Here's the thing. When people hit rock bottom and they don't have any way to get themselves out of it, they will stay at rock bottom. All right. It's not like they're going to magically sprout wings 
and fly out of the pit. They're going to stay at rock bottom. That's what happens. Some people are too poor to get a job. Now that might sound that might sound counterintuitive, but look, to, to Michael's point, you underestimate the power of hygiene and mm-hmm. how that can impact whether or not someone can get a job. First off, nowadays to apply for jobs, you need an internet connection. Mm-hmm. All right. You need to you need to get on the internet. You need to show up and have an interview. You need to wear clean clothes and nice clothes for that interview. You mm-hmm. need to be generally clean for that yeah. interview. You need they're to not get to going the to hire you. If you show up in raggedy ass clothes, they're not going to hire you. You need to be able to get to the interview. You need to some type of transportation in order to get to it. The way that you actually pull people out of poverty or even like pull people out of homelessness is by giving them houses and giving mm. them employment training and giving them the resources in order to actually get a job. All right. Making sure that they have access to that hygiene, make sure that they have access to clothes that are actually going to be decent. And on top of all of that, a system like that would actually save taxpayer money. We spend significantly more money keeping people on the streets than we would if we literally just bought them all houses. And you have the fucking audacity to accuse Democrats of trying to make it so comfortable for homeless people that they will just want to stay there. They will just want to stay homeless because they have a tent. They have a, they have a washing machine. And apparently what you said, like they, they have a wine fridge, which (laughs) I mean, (laughs) look, look, if you're saying like, I get a free wine fridge, but I have to trade my house. uh, I'm sorry. No deal. I love Mm -hmm. wine. Yeah. You know, I'd love a wine fridge, but I ain't trading my fucking house for that. All right. People want to be able to do better than that. All right. Yeah. But they don't have the opportunity to do it. They don't have the opportunity because you can't just pull yourself out of rock bottom and a rich asshole like Jesse Waters looking down at his nose at these people just demonstrates how fucking elitist Fox News is. All right. They always posture as being anti elitist. They always posture as being these, you know, oh, we're, we're for the little guy. No, you're fucking not. And I'd like to point something else out. I don't want people to hear this and think, oh, classic Republican, because you know what? Republican voters, not like Republican elitists like Jesse Waters, not Republican elected officials. All right. Republican voters, look this up, statistically give more money to charity than Democratic voters, which proves that Republican, most Republican voters don't think this way about yeah. charity, that don't think this way about homeless people, about the poor. Now, the, the, the most common argument that I've heard when I've talked to people on the right about this is the idea that, uh, I, of course, I want to help the poor. Of course, I want to help homeless people. I just don't think the government should do it. I think we should be doing it through charity. But that's not what Jesse Waters is saying. He's saying, just leave it, leave them as is, make it as uncomfortable for them to live as possible. And, you know, hopefully one day they'll be miserable enough to sprout wings and just fly. All right. Classic this guy liberal, does not rep- Nathan. This, <laughs> this guy does not represent what the Republican voter actually thinks, all right? He's an elitist, and somehow he's been able to convince people that he is for, that he is for you, that he is for the average conservative voter. He mm. has contempt for poor people, all right? The very people that, again, Republican voters actually do more on a personal level in order to help. This guy is not fucking with you. Yeah. No, you're just a soft liberal. You think that the best way to give for someone to have something is to give it to them. Well, actually, Nathan, <laughs> the best way for someone to have something is to take everything from them. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations to Jesse Twat Waters for being this week's <laughs> ass hat of the of week. The week. <laughs>